Hey guys, what's up? My name's Ranish, and welcome to my screencast series, Git for the Intimidated. So you've probably heard about these cool tools called Git and GitHub, and maybe you've installed them and tried to use them yourself, but you probably hit a roadblock. There were some weird commands you didn't understand, or you actually maybe just didn't know why we were using Git anyways. So I created Git for the Intimidated. And we're going to, over the course of this series, we're going to talk about uh, Git and demystify it for you. So in this first one, we're going to talk about why we use Git, and then we're going to talk about what Git actually is. So first, I want to make the case for why we use Git, and then talk about what it is. And then the next screencast, we're going to talk about using the command line, and then installing Git. And if you guys like these screencasts, we'll go from there, getting into more advanced topics with Git. But let's just first talk about why Git. So let me make the case for Git before I really talk about what it is. And to do that, I'm going to tell you the story, a tale of two folders. Here are two folders, and each has the same job. Keep track of one very important file. However, one uses Git, right here, and the other does not use Git. The one without Git is the one you've likely seen before, especially if you've worked in an office. Uh, if you look, there's very important file, and then we go to Rev 2, then to Rev 3, version A, version A with Jim and Tom's notes, version B, actual last rev, actual last rev, version 2. So we have multiple copies of a file, um, and we keep making up these ridiculous names to keep track of it. And <laughs> to add insult to entry, they're not even in actual order, right? Very important file isn't first, followed by the second rev. Like, uh, it's just a really confusing pile of spaghetti, basically. The folder with Git is likely one that you've not seen before, um, but that's why you're learning new things. So it's actually just one file inside one folder. Uh, if you've worked in an office, you've probably not been lucky enough to have one file in just one folder. So even if you don't like computers, and you hate Git, and I'm boring, and this is stupid, you have to see the appeal of Git. You can't fight that. Would you rather work with Git and just keep track of one very important file? Or would you rather work without Git and get into this whole plate of spaghetti right here? And to further make the case for Git, I want to tell you about some perks. So all these changes and revisions in the without Git folder, they're actually being kept track of in the with Git folder. This very important file has all these revisions stored in it and you don't have to copy the file itself. So Git keeps track of changes, every change, so you'll never lose a thing. In the folder without Git, if you go and you delete one of these revs, so I'm going to delete rev2 for some reason, it's gone, and you can't take a look at it anymore. Uh, with Git, um, it, all the changes are being kept track of behind the scenes, and so it's always there. You always know um, each version of the document. And finally, in the with Git folder, there's another perk that you're not seeing, which is that you know you can now know why each revision was made. Uh, in the with Git folder, the very important file, every revision has an explanation attached to it. In the without Git one, every version does not have one. You don't know why we went from version A to version B, and then you don't know why we went from uh, actual last rev to actual last rev version two. Um, I'm sure there's some like weird way you could like edit the file properties to keep track of it, but it's just stupid. Like, so why don't you just use Git to keep track of files? And Git provides a really easy way to tag explanations to each change. So keeping track of changes and then tagging explanations, uh, actually those are even still just sugar. The heart of the reason of why we use Git is because files change over time. And it sucks to make multiple copies of them. This plate of spaghetti right here really sucks. And you'd rather just work with one very important file. So that's why we use Git. Um, again, maybe you hate computers, maybe I'm dumb, and Git is stupid. But you have to see the appeal of why we're using Git. So now let's actually just talk about what Git is. So let me go to the website. And if you go to git.scm.com, git-scm.com, uh, this is their explanation. It's a free, open source, distributed version control system designed to handle everything from very large projects, from small to very large projects, with speed and efficiency. So it's free. 
It's open source, meaning a lot of really smart people work to improve it. And it can be used for folders with just one document like we saw, or even a Ruby on Rails application where the web application can have hundreds of files. But what does version control mean? You're going to hear that bandied about a lot. And version control for you simply means this. All the versions of a file are tracked by Git, and you don't have to you know, deal with that jazz of the folders. Right? All the versions are tracked, so you don't have to actually deal with this without Git folder. Tracked is an important word. Git keeps track of everything. You don't have to worry about losing changes. So often when we talk about Git, we say the project is being tracked by Git, or the files are being tracked by Git, or files tracked by Git. So you'll hear version control and tracking a lot. And basically, it means this. You don't have to deal with this. You get to deal with this. So practically speaking, you can use Git for a lot of files. You can even use it for an Apple Pages file, which is actually what these are. Um, I used it with a numbers file. Um, you can probably use it with Excel and Word. Um, however, when you use it with like those big program files like Excel, Word, Pages, Numbers, uh, there's some quirks, and I'll talk about that in a later screencast. So really, actually, people just use it with programming files mostly, or like uh, different types of uh, really basic text files, like .txt files. Um, so also, practically speaking, let's go to this section in my notes. Practically speaking, Git is a computer program that you download and install. So if you look on the Git page, download Git for Mac. You click that, and actually it'll start an auto-install right there. And we'll get to installation later, but Git is a computer program. And what you do with Git is once you install it, you use the command line to um, do stuff with git. So in this case, notice I'm in the with git folder. And you can just type the command git init. Boom. And now uh, that file that's in that folder, every file that'll be in that folder with git will be kept, will have changes uh, tracked for it. And if you're really lazy or you're like you just absolutely can't use the command line, there is a graphical user interface, but I don't want you to use it. I'll show you in just a few screencasts uh, how you can use Git with the command line and like learn more about a computer and stuff like that. Like so, you'll be more awesome. And finally, what's awesome about Git is that Git has GitHub. Um, so let's talk about what GitHub is real quick. People be asking, you know those people. People be asking, what is Git and how does it compare to GitHub and all that? And let's just explain it this way. Git is a program on your computer that keeps track of files and folders. GitHub is an awesome website where you can store those tracked files and folders and allow other people to share those files and folders and keep track of all the changes your friends make. Uh, in a nutshell, it lets you use Git socially. So to use GitHub, all you need to do is install Git on your computer. So like do this install business, then go to GitHub and sign up for free, and that's it. You'll be set to use GitHub. So right now, mostly programmers use GitHub, but honestly, there's no reason you couldn't use GitHub to keep track of any file with another friend. Um, there'll be some quirks depending on the file type, uh, which I'll get into in future screencasts, but yeah, why don't you try and like write a novel with a friend through GitHub? you can totally like write a novel with your friends through GitHub. But this all belies the real benefit of GitHub. What's the real benefit of GitHub? It's this. Let me go to my mail. Boom. Remember that very important file that had multiple versions? Uh, this is the worst case scenario. We have to email all the versions of the file to all our bros, so some bro at bro.com, bro2 at bro.com, bro3, all your bros, and you have to send them an email. So uh, this sucks, actually. Look at this. Like, this is going to be hell to keep track of for someone. So thank God we have Git plus GitHub, so we don't have to do this anymore. And finally, GitHub's a pretty social place. So I'll sign in, and you can see my profile. And cool, like I have a little profile, and you can see my account and stuff, and like it's social, man. Like you can share projects and like 
do all this cool stuff. Like there's public activity and all that. So that's why, uh, basically, yeah, that's it. That's what Git and GitHub are. So next time we're going to go over using a command line and then we'll actually install Git. Uh, so hopefully I've made the case of why we use Git and then also explain what Git is. And if you want, hit me up at ranish at gmail.com or at www.ranish.com. That's ranish, R-O-N-E-E-S-H, and I'd be glad to talk with you anyways. But uh, hopefully this first screencast uh, went a little way towards demystifying Git, and then starting in the next one, we're going to start doing some typing on our own. Okay, I'll see you guys soon.